East Asia. Right now, Dallas police are investigating the death of another Dallas ISD student. Police say the 17 year old was shot and killed early Saturday morning on Berger Avenue at Malcolm X Boulevard in South Dallas. They identified the victim as Demaria Daquan Hill Young. He died at the scene. Dallas ISD confirmed he was a student at Lincoln High School. He was the fourth Dallas ISD student shot in a week and a half. Two of them were killed and two others are recovering. Now community leaders are calling for peace. Natalie Haddad live in DeSoto this morning. And Natalie, they're concerned about North Texas students as they should be. Absolutely. It's been a really jarring uh, couple of weeks uh, with this recent violence. Now pastors are getting involved. They are calling it a call to action. It is here at DeSoto ISD's support, support building that we're going to hear from them later today. Again, they're calling it a call to action for peace. Specifically, they're asking families and community members to come together to encourage an end to violence among teens in the Metroplex to support safer schools and communities. Now, this all comes after the death of a 17 year old at Dallas ISD Kimball High School student David Washington. Leaders do also plan to address threats for further violence. Area districts have been receiving online through social media. In fact, Fort Worth police say that over the past week they've worked more than a dozen threats with just one arrest. Carrollton police say the same. They have responded to six school threats with one arrest. Roy City detained a 15 year old in connection with a bomb threat and Kemp ISD closed all of its schools last Wednesday as a precaution as they received several threats as well. Now here at the DeSoto ISD support building, there's going to be a press conference from pastors, but also area uh, leaders here in North Texas, not just the pastors. That's going to happen at two o'clock this afternoon. WFAA will have a team here. Mark.